What's up, y'all? It's your boy RJ Power. We're back with another video today, and today I got a story time for you. This is the time that I beat a five star recruit with one hand. But before we get into the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to join the Power family. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the Power family. And if you already are subscribed, press that bell for more notifications for more NBA videos. Um, I'm gonna do some blogs later and comedy videos as well. But let's get right into the story. This is the time that I beat a five-star recruit with one arm. So this is dating back to my middle school hooping days. Now, my middle school hooping days were probably one of the peaks of my basketball career. Like, middle school basketball was one of the most fun times hooping in my life, period. Okay, this is the time seventh grade let's rewind back this this story is going to lead up to the main story okay now this may be detailed long story so you might want to get your pot going sit back and relax and enjoy the story okay first off this is the time where we had pe in middle school this was eighth grade eighth grade year eighth grade year this was kind of the peak of my basketball career we had a good coach we had a good team and the team was just gelling together but this was before the basketball season had even started and so one day we was in pe class right i was getting changed you know we getting ready to go outside this this day we was going to play football now we have sports each day we do different sports each day or each week during our PE days. And this day happened to be football. You know, we was cool with playing football. I was cool with playing football. I mean, it didn't really matter. I didn't really care for football like that as I did back in sixth grade. But nonetheless, we played football. We picked up teams, you know, the usual. You know, we're, we're having a good time. We're going off the routes, we're passing, we're scoring touchdowns and stuff like that. But it was this one play. It was this one play that would change the course of the year for me so started to play i ran the route i think it was like kind of a hail mary route or a, a go route or whatever and i jumped up for the pass like the football was right there i kind of tried to do an odell beckham this is sick put this to music i don't think he stepped out either that may be the greatest catch i've ever seen and try to do it one hand but the ball was too high, and I was too high myself. The ball was even higher. And I end up falling and landing right on my hand, my left hand, and I broke my wrist that day. Now, mind you, initially, I didn't think I broke my wrist because I fell down, and I felt like, it felt like the world was kind of spinning around me. And so, I wasn't thinking of it. I was like, oh, maybe I'm just dizzy. So I, I sat down on the sideline, and I, I really didn't feel good. I thought I was sick. I thought I was sick. And so we went back into the locker room, and I started holding my arm. And it, it started to feel like it felt like it was hurting. And I barely could take my PE clothes off. And I was like, yo, I asked my friend, yo, can you help me put my clothes on? I don't think my wrist is right. I don't think my arm is right. So... My PE teacher, he came in there, he helped me. I went back to class and I had to get ice on my wrist. I just want some ice on my wrist. Not the, not the Rolex, but ice, like literally ice cubes. I went back to class, I wasn't feeling good. People saw in my class that I was looking terrible. And so I called my mom from the office. I went straight to the hospital. I start. I didn't, mind you, I didn't cry, but I had tears going down my eye like, Boy, if you don't get it, you could see that it hurt. And I went to the hospital, had to get a cast and everything. They said that I, I fractured my wrist. And like that pro that process, oh my gosh, I had to do this Russian torture where they had my fingers and had to put my bone back in place. Like I didn't even have to have surgery on it. And that didn't hurt, but that's for another day. But I had a pink cast. I was known as a dude with the pink cast for a while with the hot top fade, like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air for a while. Nonetheless, everybody showed me love. They signed my cast and everything. That was probably the best part of it all. But when it came time to basketball season, 
Ugh. I was not ready to play it. Like, I sat out probably the first two, three, maybe even five games of the season due to my wrist injury, and I couldn't play. I was so devastated that I could not play because I was in a sling at the time. But I think two, three games into the season, they moved me to a cast. I think even before the season officially started, I think a preseason game, they moved me to a cast. And so that means that I, I could practice. I could practice playing basketball, but I only have one arm, my right arm, my dominant arm. So I was like, it's cool. I can play with one arm. And it wasn't, it wasn't difficult to me because, you know, if you're a born hooper, then nothing difficult to you. Nothing can stop you from doing you. And so we had this one practice. I think it was all sixth, seventh, eighth graders at the time. I was in eighth grade. At this time, this dude I'm about to mention, I'm not about to say his name. I'm not putting any disrespect on his name because he's doing big things now. Like, he, he's going to a big school now. I won't name his name just for his sake, my sake, video sake. I won't name his name. But at this time, it was seven. No, it was seventh and eighth grade practice. We went to get to seventh and eighth graders at different types of drills. Mind you, I still had to cast cast on my arm. And this dude, he was he was in seventh grade, like six foot six. Six foot six, and he's taller now, but he was six foot six and like killing people. Like getting recruited already in like the seventh grade. Like he was killing, killing people out here. Like he was new to the school and everything. And everybody everybody loved him because he could hoop. He was a baller. He was probably the best player in middle school at that time when I was in middle school. Everybody else was in middle school. He was the best player. No cap. We had this practice, right? We had this drill where we had to go one-on-one -on -one full court, I think. I forgot. It was some type of drill, sort of that lines, or we go one-on-one -on -one half court or whatever. And so it was this one time where I had to, I was in the drill. I got a rebound with my one arm. You know, you go down court to play one-on-one -on -one with that defender, right? Nonetheless, it was a, it was a recruit. It was a big Six 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 seven recruit. He'll probably be six five at the time, but you know he's tall. And so I had one arm right. He was big. He was big now. He was still cold. He probably colder now, but he was cold. And so I hit him with a little tween tween. Hit him with a little tween hit. tween. Blue past him one hand scoop layup. I promise you. Everybody was like ooh, and then I did it again. I had to go against him once again. I blew past him again. I hit him with the play. Everybody went wild. Like the whole gym was shut down. Everybody was like, oh my God, the dude is killing him with one arm. One freaking arm. Like, I was shocked myself. Because I was like, shoot, I got nothing to lose. I'm not even... I'm not even playing in the regular game. Let me go ahead and do my thing. I just was hitting him with the fillets. Like, and then in practice, I was just killing in practice with one arm. Like, it was easy for me to get in the lane and stuff. I was doing layups off the charts. Like, that was my good day. And like, I was beating, I was beating the so-called cold dude where he's cold now. Let me not put any disrespect. He's cold now, but I was beating him. I was hitting the police with one hand. You could ask anybody that was at my school or played basketball with me in eighth grade how I beat like everybody with one hand. I was really killing the game. That was like my peak basketball career like my peak of my basketball career and I, I really love that like now of course I don't play basketball anymore like systematically like professionally or whatever college I don't play that anymore I play pickup games but this dude right here now he now he's killing the game he's committed to a big d1 school so look out for him if you know what I'm if you know who I'm talking about the viewers who are there and know who I'm talking about 
you know he's doing big things that he's cold. He beat me easily now. So, anyway, that was my story time on how I beat a five-star recruit with one hand. If you like this story time, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Pal family. If you want more basketball story times, I got y'all. Leave it down in the comment section down below. I'm making more basketball reaction videos. The NBA season starts back up tomorrow so be on the lookout for more nba videos it's your boy rj powell and we are out okay how we doing work